in question 2 we are given this uh, cubic equation f of z in part a we are asked to find another complex root of the equation given that 5 minus 4i is the root of the equation now we need to keep in mind if a plus bi is a solution to a to an algebraic function its conjugate a minus bi must also be a solution so we are given that a minus 4i is a root of the equation so 5 plus 4i must also be a root so the answer to part a is 5 plus 4i <clears throat> in part b we have to solve f of z equals to 0 completely so basically we have to find the third root the two roots we know are 5 plus 4i and 5 minus 4i and the third root we have to figure out so there are two approaches to it so at first we can find the uh, in both approaches we have to find the quadratic equation from the two roots we know so 5 plus minus 4i the two roots we know one of the approach would be to do this so z minus 5 plus 4i this is one of the roots multiply it with z minus 5 minus 4i and set this equals to 0 you will get a quadratic another approach is um, to find the sum of roots and product of roots for uh, this quadratic we know the roots are 5 plus 4i and 5 minus 4i so the sum of roots will be 5 plus 4i plus 5 minus 4i so 10 and product of roots Five plus four i multiplied by five minus four i so we'll get uh, twenty five plus twenty i uh, twenty five minus 20i plus 20i so at first we have 5 into 5 is 25 then 5 times minus 4i so minus 20i then you have 4i times uh, 5 plus 20i and at last you have 4i times minus 4i so we'll have uh, minus 16i square i square is minus 1 so we can just write minus 16 times minus 1 or basically plus 15 so these two cancel out we get 25 plus 16 which is 41 now the form of a, a quadratic equation is x square minus sum of roots multiplied by x plus the product of root equals to 0 so the uh, quadratic equation for the uh, roots we know would be uh, z square minus 10z plus 41 we can uh, get this in the other approach as well if we do that we'll have z square if you multiply z and z then you have minus z times 5 minus 4i minus z times 5 plus 4i minus plus 5 plus 4i times 5 minus 4i z square minus 5z plus 20iz 
minus 5z minus sorry plus 4iz minus 4iz and if you break this down you'll get 25 minus 5 20i minus 20i plus 20i minus 16 i square so basically plus 16 the same as this over here this 4iz plus 4iz and minus 4iz cancel out minus 20i and plus 20i cancel out we'll get z square minus 10z then we have plus 25 plus 16 so plus 41 equals to 0 so these are the two approaches you can use to find this equation uh, now we have to use long division so this is the equation we had 2z let me just do it down there this was f of z And the quadratic we found from part A was z square minus 10z plus 41. Now we'll use long division over here. So 2z. So we'll have uh, to z cube minus 20 z square plus 82 z subtract this so this will become a positive and this will become a negative we'll have p minus 20 z square plus p plus 20 p plus 20 z square and q minus 82 z minus 41 this and these both of these terms are variables p plus 20 and q minus 82 so we'll have to work to eliminate minus 41 the way we can do that is turning this into a minus 41 so we'll just multiply this with minus 1 so i'll get minus z square plus 10z uh, minus 41 so if we subtract this this will become a positive this will become a negative and this will become a positive again so the remainder would be 0 I uh, will need this will need this in part C so let's just do, let's just finish finish part b before that so this is the equation of another root so f of z will be z square minus 10z plus 41 times 2z minus 1 and we have to solve fz equals to 0 so z is 5 plus minus 4i from what we had before and we have the new root which is z equals to half now we know that the remainder must be 0 over here so we have p plus 20 plus 1 over here z square so in part c we have to notice that p plus 20 plus 1 should be 0 so P must be minus 21 and for Q we'll have Q minus 82 minus 10 so Q minus 82 minus 10 this will also be 0 so Q minus 82 minus 10 is 0 so Q will be plus 92 
now for part d we have to plot the points representing the roots of the equation to form vertices of a triangle so if we write this on our organ diagram the roots are this is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis the roots of the equation are 5 plus 4i and 5 minus 5 if we plot 5 plus 4i so 5 on the real axis and 4 on the imaginary axis and then we have 5 minus 4i on the same vertical somewhere over here and the other root we have is uh, z equals to half plus 0i so this is on the real axis this is half comma 0 now this forms a triangle so these so these points turn out to be a triangle this is 5 this is 4 this over here is minus 4 and this is half if we want the height of the triangle if we consider this as the base the base will be this is 4 in this direction and this is a further 4 so the total will be 8 the length of the red line or this will be 8 units this will then be the height of the triangle if we consider this as the base this will be the height the height will be 5 minus half or 4.5 so the area of this triangle will be half into 8 into 4.5 which will be 18 units this is question 2 done